Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a map composition. We have our fire, Chesco fire stations and our Chesco municipal boundaries. And we are currently in data view. We need to be in layout view. So in order to get into layout view, we click the view tab and then layout view. So now you see our data in the middle, and we have this border, which is actually one of our five maps essentials, and it is called a neat line. So what we want to do is we want to add a title, a legend, a north arrow, and a scale bar. So in order to do that, we go to insert, and in here we have neat line, legend, north arrow, scale bar. So we're going to put in the legend since we already have a neat line. So upon clicking the legend button, the legend wizard comes up. And in here you can choose what map layers you want to add. So in this case, we have the Chesco Fire Stations and the Chesco Municipal Boundaries. So you can keep hitting next through the wizard. Okay. Computer's frozen. Okay. And if you are a creative person, you can get fancy and you can change the border, the background, and the drop shadow. But I'm just going to leave it normal. Okay. Next, and then finish. So here's our legend. So we'll just put that down there for now. So we're going to insert a north arrow next. And there's all these different options. But I'm going to just add a simple end preload. And you can drag them like that that down here for now. Next we are going to add a scale bar. I'm going to add this one for miles. Put that down here. And then we are going to insert a title. Now the title I'm going to name this is Chess. County Fire Stations. Okay. Now, all of our map essentials are there, but we want to make it look better. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the zoom tool and make the map just a little bigger. And you can pan it over like that. And then we can play around with the legend. And we can move this a little more. Move this over here. Put this north arrow up here. Okay, there's no right way to do it. You just have to make sure it looks presentable. So I showed you how to make a map from data view into layout view. And now Nolan is going to show you an easy way. So here's Nolan. Alright guys, so if you're like me, you want to use the ability of GIS to its fullest power. And I'm not saying it's the easy way out, but it's definitely the quickest way. And really the smartest way to go about it. So Nick showed you the old way. And if you're really trying to understand GIS, especially layouts, and cartography as a whole, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to start from a basic layout and then pick your five map essentials. But I, however, when I know I'm cranking out maps, I go right to my layout selection bar. Okay? And then you come right over here to the end and you go to change layout. This can be right from a basic layout without this here from the beginning, just as an aside. So you go to change layout. 
and I'm going to stick here with this letter portrait. Now normally when you pull up your template, it's going to look like this. And you're going to go to the far right, and you'll see the key there. And you're going to want to click letter portrait, as in my favorite. So you click it, and now you can see that there's the five math essentials, but they are in a default mode, where you can see that it says here in the title to double, double click to enter the math title. So for a reminder, we're going to put in a little title here. Excuse me. Hold title. Hit OK. And then we're going to put our north arrow up here like Hank did as well. And I'm going to double click here to put my name on it. Because if you know, you need to have your name on all your homework. OK. You want to hit OK. And you can change the size here as well as you can see. I might as well do that for you. We'll go to change symbol. Computer's working a little slow today. Change symbol. And of course you could change your font or you become fancy with the reference style. For now I'm going to go 16. Seems large and it probably is too large. But just for an example, we're going to show you. And we can do a quick multiply. Actually not too bad. For the legend, the same. We can double click on all of them. And we can go to the layout and our frame. And change size. Okay, maybe have a little background color. A little 10% gray. And if you really aren't sure and you don't want to keep going in and out, you hit apply and you'll know what it looks like without completely closing. So that looks good enough for now. Now this one's a pretty important is your scale bar. It's very imperative to have as it is a math essential. Um, you can play with your scale in units. Right now, of course, if it's all of Chester County, you would want to have it in miles. You have to think logically for really your audience because that's what you're doing is you're making a map you gotta think how can I convey my data and my findings or analysis as best as possible so in miles that is easier to understand by far over feet so I'm gonna go with that and if you look close you'll see it says 13 now we're gonna zoom in to show a little bit easier if you do a drag it'll change automatically. Now, for the map, you always want to have something that's easy to understand as well. For me, I would go with 10. You don't want to have 11 or an odd number. You prefer to have an easy number to work off of, as in 10, 20, and even though it's an odd number, but say 15, 25, um, it's just easier for the viewer to understand. So let's zoom back out and look at our map. Do we understand what we want? Do we have our five map essentials laid out exactly how we like? Our neat line, I like the bold. I like our compass the way it is, the four north arrow. Our title is just fine. And our name, that's actually really the sixth map essential. Well, Next, we would want to export this, or you can use print, depending on what printer setup you have. You can hit print, and then go through there, depending on what printer setup you have. Or, as I suggest, as I always do, is I go to export, and I export mine as either a PDF, JPEG, or TIFF. PNGs are also possible if you plan on putting graphics over top. I highly suggest PDF or TIFF. TIFF will give you the greatest amount of resolution when saving. As you can see here, you can change your dots per inch, okay, all the way up to 600. That is the highest it'll go. And then when you do that, you can give it a title. Oh jeez, typing is not going well today for me. And you can save it as a TIFF under my desktop folder and save. And that's how you export with the five math essentials.
Thanks to Nick. And have a good day, folks.